So in this video, we're going to be introducing the idea of graphing linear equations. Linear equations just mean they're going to be a whole bunch of lines. So we're going to have two types of graphing, either making a table or plotting points or specifically plotting the intercepts, the x and y intercepts. So the first example says 4x minus 5y equals 0, and the directions on that say graph using two points. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and get it into y equals, solve for y. So the first thing I want to do is get this y by itself. So I'm going to move over the x's, so move over the x's, and I'll have that. Now negative 4x plus 0 is just negative 4x, so I don't actually need to write that 0. And then divide through by the number in front. So I'll have y. Negative 4 divided by negative 5 is going to be positive 4 over 5x. And again, I don't need to write plus 0. So the first point you're always going to pick is 0 because it's easy. So I'm going to take 0 where there was an x. I'm going to replace it with a 0. So I'll have y equals 4 over 5 times 0, which is going to give me 0. 4 over 5 times 0 is 0. Okay, so there's my first point. Second one, I'm going to want to pick the denominator so that it's going to cancel this out. So I pick 5. So I have y equals 4 over 5 times 5. Well, the 5s will cancel and leave me with just a 4. Now, if that's confusing you, just type this thing in your calculator. Parenthesis 4 divided by 5 times 5, and you'll get out 4. So you will type these two into Hawks. When you type them in, it will automatically graph it for you. All right, next example says graph using the intercepts. So this is going to look a little different. I'm still finding two points, but I'm finding two very specific points. So to find the x-intercepts, you're going to cover up y. I mean, to find the y-intercepts, you're going to cover up x, which essentially is making x equal 0. So here's my, um, my equation, negative 9x minus 10y equals negative 90. So to find the y-intercepts, I'm going to cover up the x's. So with your finger, cover it up. I'm left with negative 10y equals negative 90. Now solve that. Divide by negative 10, divide by negative 10, and get y equals 9. So that's going to go in y equals 9. Now what goes in the other one, well that's a 0, because when I covered up x, that was making x 0. The next one, the x-intercept, I'm going to cover up the y's, which means I'm making y equals 0. So I'm going to do the same thing with my equation. Except I'm going to cover up the y. So now I'm left with negative 9x equals negative 90. Divide by negative 9 and get x equals positive 10. So that goes in place of the number for x and again for the y or for the x intercept y is always zero. So you would plot those two in and Hawks will actually end up graphing it for you. Now if it asks you to graph, you're gonna plot the y intercept on the y axis, and you would plot the x intercept on the x axis. Okay, last one. Graph the line by plotting two points. So this one's a little bit different because Hawks is going to actually make you plot the points on the graph. Well, I find the two points the same way as I did um, in the last example. So my two points, I always pick 0 first. and then pick the denominator. Now again, that is only after you've solved for y. Okay, so I'm going to take x plus y equals 0, solve for y, so I want to get y by itself. So I'm going to minus x, minus x. Well, negative x plus 0 is the same thing as just negative x. 
All right, my first point is always going to be zero. So I pick the point zero, which means I'm going to plug in zero for x. So if I plug in a zero there, I have negative zero, which gives me zero. Now my other point, I'm going to do the same thing. The denominator, well, that's over 1, right? So I'm going to pick 1. When I plug in 1 for x, I get 1 right there, which carry down the negative gives me negative 1. So in Hawks, you're actually going to plot those two points. You'll click on 0, 0, and then you'll go right 1, right 1, down 1. So then you'll actually put a dot right there. And then Hawks will autofill that line in for you. If for some reason you accidentally click on the wrong line, if you click on one of the dots, you'll be able to drag it around if you hold down the clicker. Okay, I lied. Here is the last one now. So x, um, example 4, y equals negative 5 eighths x minus 4. So they are just asking me to find two points and graph it. Again, your first point is always 0. Second point is the denominator. So this thing is already solved for y, so that means I don't have to do any solving for y. I just go straight to pick the denominator. So that's where the x comes from, 0 and 8. Okay, so the first one I'm going to let x equal 0, which is going to give me negative 5 over 8 times 0 minus 4. Negative 5 over 8 times 0 is 0, 0 minus 4 gives me negative 4. So that is my y value for 0. I'm going to do the same thing with the next one. y equals negative 5 over 8 times 8 minus 4. Again, I picked 8 because it was the denominator, so I want them to cancel. So that's the same thing as 8 over 1, which means the 8s will cancel. Leave me with negative 5 minus 4, which will give me negative 9 which will go right there. You'll type in those two numbers and Hawks will autograph it for you.